Hey everyone, today's video is going to be about converting between radians and degrees. So radians are a type of unit that you'll be using a lot in trigonometry and degrees are also going to be another unit you'll be using. So converting between these two will be very important. Normally, the first important step you have to take is try to distinguish between radians and degrees. So let's just say you have a number, 2. How do you know if it's in radians or degrees? Radians will never have a degree symbol, but degrees always will. So they give you two degrees, then you know that that unit is in degrees. But if they just give you the number two, then that's in radians because it doesn't have a degree symbol. Now radians a lot will come with a pi symbol. So like three pi or two pi, but if two pi has a degree symbol next to it, then it automatically goes to degrees. But the three pi is in radians because it does not have a degree symbol. So that's just the common, the most obvious way to distinguish between degrees and radians. So now we are going to convert between the two. So as you can see in my little um, flowchart thing here, radians to degrees is just multiplying by 180 degrees over pi, and degrees to radians is multiplying by pi over 180 degrees. Now they both are just the reciprocal of one another. Here we have 180 at the numerator and pi at the denominator, and here it's the complete opposite, where the other one's on top. It's actually super simple to remember which one to use, and I'll be going into a couple of examples to show you how to do that. But let's just do a very, very quick example on converting between degrees and radians. So let's say we have 30 degrees. Degrees obviously has the degree symbol right next to it. What you're going to do is try to aim to have the degree symbol in the denominator of the fraction you're going to be being multiplied with. So we have 180 degrees over pi. This pi does not have a degree symbol in the denominator, so we're not going to use it. 180 does have a degree symbol, so we're going to multiply 30 degrees with pi over 180. What we're trying, to, Why we're trying to do this is so that these degree symbols technically cancel because one's in the numerator and one's in the denominator. So when you simplify this and you get 6, the final answer is just pi over 6, and there's no degree symbol. It's the complete opposite for radians. So let's say you have 2 pi radians. You're going to multiply it with the value pi at the bottom. Why is pi at the bottom? Because it doesn't have a degree symbol, so that means it's in radians. Multiply by 180 degrees in the numerator so that these pi's cancel and you multiply it to become 360 degrees. So 2 pi radians is just 360 degrees. So always aim to have the same unit at the denominator. So for, let me just do another very quick example. Let's say we have 20 degrees. Try to have the degrees at the bottom. So 180 degrees in this case, so pi is at the top. Let's say you had 20 radians, so no degree symbol, then pi would be at the bottom because they both are like terms and 180 degrees would be at the top. Let's get into a couple of examples to show you how to use this even further. Okay, so we're going to be converting between these um, values and to their counterparts, so either radians or degrees. So let's take our first example. We have 90 degrees. 90 degrees has the degree symbol next to it, so you're going to multiply it with the degree symbol at the bottom and pi at the top. So you're going to cancel out the two degree symbols. If you cancel these out, you'll get 2, so your final answer is pi over 2. So 90 degrees is the pi over 2 in radians. Same thing goes for 30 degrees. So 30 degrees has the degree symbol at the top, so in the numerator. Now you're going to multiply this with the degrees at the bottom so that they can cancel out. Then when you cancel out these thir the 30 and the 180, you get 6 over here, so your final answer will be pi over 6. So let's look at the next example. We have pi over 6. Now this is radians. Why? One, it has a pi, but that's not the only distinguisher. It doesn't have a degree symbol, which shows that it's radians. So pi over 6, you're going to multiply it so that the pi is at the bottom and the degrees is at the top. So you can cancel these pi's out, and this would cancel to 30 degrees. So 6 goes into 180 30 times. Next, we're going to do our last example, so we're going to do 2. 2, now you're wondering whether that's degrees or radians, because radians normally have pi next to them, and degrees has a degree symbol. But in this case, since it does not have a degree symbol next to it, it's in radians. Assuming that, that it's in radians, that means you're going to have the pi at the bottom and 180 at the top. So when you cancel these out, um, it will become 360 over pi degrees because you're converting from radians to degrees. Now I know that that has a pi under on the denominator, but it has a degree symbol, so that indicates that the value is in degrees. So that's one important thing to take note of. So let's try out a couple more examples. As you can see here at the top, we have 180 degrees. It is in degrees because there is a degree symbol right here. 
you're going to multiply this by having 180 degrees at the bottom. Why? So that the degree signs can cancel out. The pi is going to be at the top. 180 actually cancels perfectly, so your final answer will just be pi. So 180 degrees in radians is just pi. That's how many radians it is. Pi radians. So let's try our last example. We have 2 pi over 3. As you can see, it's 2 pi over 3. How do you know it's in radians? Well, one, there isn't a degree symbol. Although there is a pi, if there is a degree symbol over here, then that would be degrees. It's not degrees because it does not have a degree symbol. So you're going to multiply this with pi at the bottom because you're going to try to cancel out the pi's. 180 degrees will be at top. And then if you cancel these out, you'll get 60. 60 times 2 is 120 degrees. So all I did was 3 goes into 180 60 times, and then 2 times 60 is 120. So 2 pi over 3 is 120 degrees. So comment down below if you have any questions.